for years. I wished that I could be a writer and an artist. I wished on every shooting star. I strained my neck from the constant upward gaze. I threw a small fortune of pennies into wishing wells. I've got bad posture from my constant search for four-leaf clovers. But imagine what life would be like if I could write and make pictures for a living. Oh, I wished I could have that life. It seemed so out of reach, so unavailable. I mean, maybe that sort of thing happens to other people who have the education, the money, the support, the opportunities, and the talent that I could only wish for. But it was when I finally decided to be a writer and an artist, that's when my real journey began. Scott Adams says that wishing generally begins in the mind and it stays there. But when you decide, however, you take action. You get a lot more clear about what it would look like. You acknowledge the price that you're going to have to pay to achieve it. And then you begin taking the steps, even if they're baby steps. I believe that wishes have energy. I believe that wishes exist to show us what's really possible. Those siren songs that whisper to your heart, they're revealing what you're truly capable of achieving. If you can wish it, you can do it. There's only one thing a wish needs to become real, a decision. So tell me, artist, are you going to decide to make your wishes come true? The decision is yours, if you wish. My name is Krista Cloutier, and I am the creator of the Working Artist Masterclass. I teach artists the business of art, but more than that, I share what I have learned about how to create a life and a practice dedicated to growing as an artist. Visit my website at theworkingartist.com to learn more.